engineering it's an indian parents dream when i go for workshops when i interact with students and parents the maximum questions i get are on engineering now you have got into an engineering college you have done electrical mechanical computer science civil chemical whatever but you are an engineer or you are going to be one what after it kya karoge uske baad how to decide that it depends on a host of factors but first thing is to understand you yourself understand five things about yourself aptitude what are you naturally good at personality are you a social personality or creative or enterprising or mechanical what kind of a person are you uh interests what are your interests i am sure you would have done some internships agar nahi kari hai then go and do internships practical work experience will help you in understanding yourself and help you in realizing what you want to do in future and then abilities what kind of capabilities do you have and then what do you value what do you want out of life i have helped engineers get into social work because they wanted to contribute to the society i have helped engineers get into creative careers i have helped an engineer get into modeling film making i have helped lot of engineers get into different areas of management including areas like fashion management advertising management forest management why because they wanted that because as a person they were there this is the career option and this was matching yeah so i as a career counselor would start off with i would call it a zero base you can take it to any level yeah so let's try and understand different options you can take after engineering students it is not an easy decision you should not follow a herd mentality ki baki log bhi kar rahe hain to main bhi kar leta hu idea should be to understand yourself and then see what is the best match for you sometimes you might need some form of aptitude testing people like us we conduct aptitude testing even for engineers even for post graduates and let, help them in understanding how they should go about it okay first and one very large option is management so management is a big big career option and management don't think of management only as mba management can give you 40 plus career options a lot of my friends who are engineers are working successfully in finance consulting marketing which is brand management which is different from sales so depending on how you are you can choose one particular field of management and some are correlated some might not be also which is absolutely fine see when you have got into this world it's not that you have your your past does not decide your future as i was telling you i have engineers who are today vastu consultants i have engineer friends who are photographers and of top repute engineers in advertising and so on and so forth so approach things with an open mind and you have so many areas in management also available let's try and understand so a large number of jobs for people are in sales management sales management is not a bad thing sales management mein jana achhi baat hota hai lot of because somehow the adults feel that sales is not really it's not like that if i look at countries like us uk canada sales management gives people an amazing career and even in india also yeah but somehow people have a misconception about it but you have to be good at following up with people interacting with people to excel in this career second is brand management which is also called marketing where you are taking care of the four p's product price place promotion so what you are trying to do you are trying to let's say you are working with apple which new phone to launch what product specification should be there how packaging would be there how to look at its pricing how to look at its promotion which brand ambassador to hire everything is planned by a product manager or a brand manager and then you have uh, also distribution issues a phone like virtue will be found at dubai mall a virtue might have maybe four outlets in india five outlets in india not too many yeah who plans this out a brand manager or a product manager and then finance oh huge option finance is a very very big option people uh investment banking hrithik roshan was an investment banker in a movie you might have seen it finance can lead you to working with a venture capital fund i have a friend who does that he travels across nations he meets up with people he attends conferences so it's a very different from a normal finance job uh you can work with a private private equity fund same stuff you can work in corporate finance you can work in stock markets lot of jobs you can work with mutual funds financial institutions fii's good scope of a career if you are in if you are more into research you can work with icra icra yeah credit rating agencies where you will research and you will bring out credit ratings if you uh, if you want to look at lot of these jobs you can go to vault.com v a u l t 
or even career one stop. Vault will give you a lot of ideas about what is happening in various fields of management. Then you can get into human resource management. You are taking care of uh, job planning, how many people are needed at whatever levels. Second, you are taking care of recruitment and selection, training them, compensation and firing also. All this is a part of human resource management. Then you can look at international trade, exports imports primarily. Check out IFT, that's a top position for international trade. Next, guys, uh, you could also look at fashion management. So NIFT offers a course in fashion management. Yes, even engineers can go for it. I have put in people. After fashion management, you'll work with Zara, you'll work with H&M, MNS, Arvind Mills, any online player like Flipkart, which owns Jabong now. So you'll work with any of these. You might take care of uh, retail side of the business, you might take care of online sales, promotions. So you are a managerial resource. You are not designing, but you are a managerial resource or you might get into merchandising. You can start your own thing also later on. Then you can look at forest management. Check out, check out IAFM. A lot of companies are using forestry based products. So you can look at them. Check out IRMA, Institute of Rural Management Anand. It offers an amazing course in rural management. You can work with large cooperatives like Amul, like NDTV, which produces Dhara and so on. So any of these you could look at. So uh, guys, management is a pretty exciting field. You can grow fast, you can have your own money, you can start your own thing. If you're interested in entrepreneurship, apna khud ka karna hai, then MBA proper will not help you. Go for MBA family business management and entrepreneurship. Go for entrepreneurship courses. Like the topmost institute is EDI Ahmedabad. EDI, Entrepreneurship Development Institute Ahmedabad. Check out Nirma University. Check out Narsim Monji. Check out Wellinkers, SP Chan. They have family business and entrepreneurship courses. You can go for them. So, entrepreneurship is a different ball game. Normal MBA is a different ball game. Normal MBA will lead you to jobs in industry, jobs with big companies, whereas entrepreneurship will lead you to starting your own thing. If you go for an entrepreneurship course, maybe you can work with a startup. But normally, you are just going to do your own thing. So how do I evaluate whether I am for management? There are some personality characteristics. Of course, not for all the jobs. Generally, engineers have done well, well in management because they follow a structured approach. Reasoning orientedness is there and numeracy levels are pretty good. As it is today, data analytics is a hot career option. So even MBA data analytics courses are there. So how do I start evaluating it? So one, start doing some online courses. On Coursera, Udacity, edX, you can take up online marketing course, a small finance course. You can play stock market games on moneycontrol.com, free of charge. Yeah. You can do a small four months course from BSC, Bombay Stock Exchange or NSE, National Stock Exchange. Uh, you, you should go to places like Startup Saturday. Every second Saturday, you have an entrepreneurship meet lot of young people come and people who are successful and people who are unsuccessful they come and speak to you so that's a startup side it happens all over the world every second saturday so startup saturday delhi startup saturday mumbai startup saturday pune startup saturday london startup saturday us i mean new york everywhere it is there every second saturday beautiful concept by head start network so you can attend startup grind you can attend other entrepreneurship uh, uh, like tie also has programs EDI has a summer camp which you can attend. All these things will help you in understanding management. If you are slightly inclined, start early. Start from your first year, second year and so on. Uh, maybe some people can start in school also, but of course, you can start. Okay, now some of you decide, no, I am a technical guy. I have taken engineering. I have loved every bit of it. I want to build up further. So maybe you have done computer science. Now you want to specialize in IoT, cloud computing artificial intelligence, machine learning, and so on. Maybe you have done mechanical engineering, now you want to take up computer designing, computer manufacturing, robotics, and so on. So whatever you have done now, you want to build up on it. So the mantra is crack gate. Gate will let you enter into topmost institutions in the country. Gate has other, other benefits also, but you need to crack gate. You can look at JAM, J-A-N. You can get into top institute like IACR. Even JEST, JEST also is an exam to be looked at. 
Now these tests can help you get into integrated PhD programs. You want to get into research, you want to get into teaching. Yeah, so these are the programs to watch out for. IASCRs again are amazing institutions. Yes, if you want to go outside India, then look at GRE. So GRE can help you in going outside India. It is graduate required examination. GRE is for technical courses and quite a few managerial courses also. Almost, I would say 80% institution across the world will receive GMAT as well as GRE's course for entry to management also. So GRE can be used both ways, but for technical, definitely it is GRE. How do I prepare for these? So today there are a lot of online portals available or you have offline people who are preparing you for JAT, for, uh, for uh, uh, JAM, sorry, JEST, for GRE and so on. 